this is the antidote to the labyrinth of the psychopath. Get out there in nature and experience things as they really are. Hey everybody, uh, I'm taking it outside today. This is where I live. This is uh, South Sligo in the west of, northwest of Ireland. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, but apparently the Venus Project is actually better. How's it going, lads? Are you going to enter the Venus Project? No? Zeitgeist movement, what about you? No? No? Go on. Come here. Join me and leave the Venus Project. There's one bright opportunist young milk calf. Come on, lads. <laughs> here we go. The Anti-Venus Project Revolutionary Committee starts here. Here they come. Come on, lads. Actually, sorry, lady, sorry. Didn't mean to transgender you. Yes, aren't you all unbelievably cute and adorable? Come on. In my cult, we already have alien disclosure. Look at it go. Oh, bollocks. In, in my cult, we already have gigantic electronic penal implants. Look at this. Come and get me, girls. Come on. Ribbed for her pleasure. Irish craftsmanship at its best. <laughs> no screwing about with mortar. <laughs> the Venus Project may only exist as a as illustrations with no people on them, but work has already begun on the buildings that my cult members will live in. Inside there are dozens of slaves who are slaving away for me in order to build my dream and fulfill my utopian megalomania uh, and uh, well we won't talk about how much I'm paying them sadly we have to deal with heretics the way a cult deals with heretics and there will be people who will deny the sanctity of my cult because well they've nothing better off to offer and uh, well we make an example of them uh, we take away their shoes and we take away their sweatpants bottoms and they walk around with their, uh, their private parts exposed to the world, which is okay for some of them, but for most of them it's, it's not going to help, so be warned. Hello! Are you going to come and join my cult or are you going to join the Venus Project? Okay, check it. We were just looking at corporate symbolism there. You saw the 33, some more Masonic stuff. There's the county colours, black and white. That's obvious if you know anything about this stuff. The Irish tricolour there, green, white and orange. The green does not stand for the Catholics. The orange does not stand for the Protestants. The white does not stand for peace. It's actually the colours of the lily flower. The green leaves, the orange uh, central area and the white uh, petals. During the Enlightenment, when the Republican movement took over various countries, the blue flag here, the flag of the European Union, this piece of shit, that's, uh, that's actually the, the stars of the Virgin Mary, believe it or not. One of the founders of the, the European Union had the idea for the flag. He saw the golden, the golden crown of the Virgin in the blue sky. Now, what's interesting about that one, it's tourist season here, so they put up the American flags to get the Americans in. Now, the US flag is actually the flag of the British, uh, the Dutch East India Company.
It's nothing to do with anything else. It's purely a commercial logo. Uh, the star part in the middle in the Dutch East India lo uh, flag, look it up for yourself, was actually the uh, Union Jack, which again is a corporate flag. Now, the, what's very interesting about these two flags, the EU flag and the United States flag next to each other, is that the blue part of the European flag, if you take it that and stick it into the blue part of the American flag, you have the original flag. circle of stars inside the blue. Anyone who still thinks that this is all a coincidence, you need your head examined. And I do understand why people do go into movements like the Venus Project and the Zeitgeist movement, because they're desperately looking for an alternative to the, the, you know, the, being given the finger constantly by these types. But uh, there's the better alternative is non-compliance, independence, and don't, don't play their game anymore. Now, according to EU rules, you have to have a, handy, a handicap spot at every business and that's agreed I have no problem with a handicap spot at every business but look how far it is from the store okay so far I've been kind of joking and taking the piss a little bit but there is a reason why we should care about these things there is a reason why we should care be bothered by psychopaths running the world and how they use things like Freemasonic orders and other different uh, little networks and organizations to to run the world behind our backs and because it's more than just some silly gentleman's club because it has real consequences and here it is let me explain to you what this place is it's a little tiny cemetery at the back of my house. Although most of the graves in here are from the 19th century, 1700s. And there's a, there's a couple of ones from the 1600s. It's been completely forgotten and derelict. And the church is long gone. And there's a reason for this. See that stone wall down there? That's a mass grave. Underneath, behind that stone wall, approximately between two and three thousand men, women and children, mostly women and children, were buried. They died during the height of the famine in Ireland, 1847, what people insultingly called the potato famine. Uh, there was plenty of food in Ireland during the so-called famine. In fact, it was, it was, Ireland had the eighth largest economy in terms of exports in the world. But the food was brought to the harbours by troops because it was needed for imperial conquest and for lord, the lords and ladies and the people who ran the landlord and the land system. They, they wanted their profits. So they, these people died of starvation, cholera and typhoid. And they're buried here and they're forgotten about. And this graveyard has fallen into ruin. No one comes here. Nobody cares. And yet they were human lives. They, they lived like the rest of us. They were born. They lived, they loved, they had families. They wanted the same things that we wanted. They just wanted an easy life and pass on a better thing for their children. These ones never got on the coffin ships for America, for England, for Scotland, for Australia. This was their final destination. And this is what happens when we let psychopaths run the world because it just becomes business and nobody cares. So, always know that. Like, I, I don't make these videos for a laugh, I don't make them for a joke. I make them because there's... We, there's a, there are real predators out there, and when they rise to positions of power, we get buried in the ground. So, uh, always think of these people. If you're an Irish-American, your ancestors left Ireland. Think of the ones who never made it. There's a couple of thousand of them buried behind that stone wall. So, uh, give a thought for